Now, um, Mrs. Hartman, just a few more questions, if you don't mind. You're not uh -uh. too tired, are you? Uh-uh. Of course she's tired. Have you ever spent any time with a mass murderer? Very often. Well, that's your business. Her business is being a housewife. And that's enough of a problem right there. No, Pa, I'm really, I'm glad to cooperate. I mean, the police have been very nice to me. I mean, they rescued me from being a hostage. And, uh, Dennis risked his life for me. Dennis? Who's Dennis? Me. How come you're on a first-name basis with him? Well, you see, Paul, when you're tied together with someone for, um, six hours, it becomes more of an intimate situation. It's hard to keep calling him sergeant. What's intimate about being tied back to back? Unless it's for dragonflies. You can't even see each other. I know you can't see each other, but you'd be surprised how much you can feel through your backs. I mean, you're communicating. Look, what's the, uh... No, no, the no, no, don't you start, you stubby barrymore. Listen, I want these questions to end, and I want to get my daughter home. All right. Now, Mrs. Hartman... We'll need a lot more details when this thing comes to trial. But uh, for right now, did Davy ever threaten to kill you? Um, not really. How do you mean? Well, he did say a few things, but uh, I suppose you could call them threats. Uh, what did he say? Oh, things like... I'll blow your brains out. Well, I certainly think that's a threat. Oh, well, you see, you're a policeman. Uh, Mrs. Hartman, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you very much for your cooperation. I know that this has been a very trying time. It really must have been a nightmare for you. No, not really. Um, it was more like a bad dream. You see, I've never really had an experience like this. It was, it was one of the strangest things about it was that while I was in there with Davy, I kept having the sense that this was one of the high points of my life. See, I read a book once called Our Town by Thornton Wilder, and there's this girl in it, Emily, and she lives in a town, and it's like ours, only she dies. And then they bring her back to life for one day. And she comes back, and she sees her life. And she sees her ordinary life. And she sees how special her ordinary life is. And she says, quote, does anybody ever really realize life while they are living it." Unquote. It was during this experience that I understood that phrase. Mm -hmm. 